Well, Svenja, I'm so confused. Boris Johnson is against the Prime Minister, but actually, no, he's not. She supports him. Then she's thinking of possibly sacking him. Then he comes out and saying, well, I'm definitely not going to resign, but then he'd be relieved if he left office. What's going on? Yeah, this is the subtle or not so subtle game of, of uh, political manoeuvring. She can't sack him, is the truth. Had she won a majority in the June election, I don't think Boris Johnson would be Foreign Secretary today. But the reality is this is a very, very fragile government. It's hanging by a thread. It's carrying on. Theresa May is admittedly trying her best to keep this, um, you know, this show on the road. But it takes very, very little for the whole edifice to be rattled. And Brexit, unfortunately, is not a vision that unites the cabinet, however much the government is trying to feed us this idea. Right, but Svenja, how popular is Boris Johnson? So again, this is one of the great mysteries. He has a lot of supporters from backbenchers that were really pro-Brexit. But does he have any support within, you know, the, the British public? Well, I mean, I would argue that he's got quite a lot of support with, from the British public. What his support <coughs> within the Tory party is remains more doubtful. I've been speaking to a couple of sources about this, and it seems that his base has really waned. This is him trying to appeal to the sort of more hardline Brexiteers in the Tory party. But I think, you know, a lot of people, certainly a lot of Tories, are starting to feel that there's a bit too much manoeuvring. And they're also, frankly, quite scared that this, this sort of rank manoeuvring may cause another election which Jeremy Corbyn could win. Right. So, Svenja, you think that Theresa May can actually sack Boris Johnson. Does she need to adapt her speech on Friday in Florence to reflect <clears throat> a harsher Brexit to kind of placate that side of the government? Well, look, you do not publish a 4,000-word article in The Telegraph, which is what Boris did on Saturday, without some preparation and some strategy behind it. He clearly has some backing in the cabinet. I mean, we've seen the likes of Michael Gove and Priti Patel sort of support him semi-publicly. I think what this is going to expose is the tensions within cabinet, and him yeah. speaking out is certainly going to bring them to the fore. And, you know, I've heard that what she's going to say in the speech is pretty much still up in the air. And, I mean, this yeah. is a couple of days before the event.